Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I'm going to show you my setup for my A5 Lux Pro ringed binder, ringed planner. Now, I did a video of this showing the unboxing and I absolutely love this planner. I've been using it for about a week now and I can say that I'm really enjoying it. I'm finding that um, I'm really appreciating the fact that I can move things around in a ringed planner. Now it is still a little bit bulky for me to like carry around with me as an everyday carry planner. However, for at home, it's just working out really, really well. I love the versatility. I love the color of this particular binder. Um, the durability so far has really impressed me, and I was really impressed with the inserts that came with this particular planner. So let's go ahead and jump right in so I can show you guys the details of this up close and exactly how I'm using it. Now, it does have a faux leather cover. Um, it's it's kind of soft. Uh, I don't know if padded would be the right word, but uh, the quality, like I said, is top notch. I don't. F it doesn't feel cheap to me. It doesn't look cheap, and um, you can see it's even got little details here on the snap. No issues with the snap. I have a nice, you know, tight snap closure. The rings are really, really tight. Um, the stitching and the edges are. Like I said, very, um, very well done. Okay, so inside, um, I really wanted to do a, a very simple, basic setup. There's not a lot of cutesy stuff going on. I basically just kind of put some things in here, number one, that I know I either want to use or I need to use or I plan on using. And number two, I did put some things in here kind of to fill the space just because I wanted it to, to kind of look good <laughs> when I open it. But it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, really overdone because I do see some people and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying for me, I don't want to open my uh, planner and then all the cute stuff falls out. And I know you can make it so it doesn't but I really wanted something that wasn't too distracting but yet still looked good for me so as you can see you've got a zip pocket here you've got card slots here you have a pocket here and then you have this big bigger pocket here now in the zip pocket I don't think I put anything in here because this pocket's kind of tight um, oh I do have a washi card that I got from go wild this year I think I was gonna I think I was using this as a bookmark and then I just threw it in here. But that's all I have in here. You know, obviously you could probably put cash or something in there. But uh, like I said, the pocket's pretty tight so I don't really have a whole lot in there. Uh, then you get these card slots here. You have one, two, three, four card slots. This first one I don't have anything. But I have a little magnetic bookmark that I got from Target, at, I think a couple years ago. And then I do have these washi cards in here that I got from Go Wild. I don't have any washi on them because I don't really use washi on the go. However, I did like the colors on these and I thought it's just kind of pretty to have them in there. Uh, this one is also from Go Wild. This is a sweet kawaii design uh, washi card and I thought it was cute and I thought it would look, look nice in there. And then this one is the same as that other one, it just has two different tones of the color. So I probably won't be using this as like a wallet type planner, so I'm not going to put like my ATM or driver's license cards in there. Then I have an Ollie clip here. Uh, this basically is just in case I need it. And then in this pocket, I have some stickers that I want to use. So these are just some stickers that I had lying around that I wanted to make sure I use. And same with these stickers back here. These are just stickers. Um, kind of leftovers, partially used sticker sheets that I want to make sure I use up. And that's all I have there. Now this first thing is a Foxy Fix dashboard and I'm really loving the black paper. If I could find uh, inserts on black paper, I totally would buy it because I'm on a black paper kick right now. So this is just a black 
sheet of cardstock in here and I threw a bow sticker and this uh, silver sticker I think I got this from a, a happy planner sticker book which one I don't know I have quite a few but I just wanted to keep this kind of simple because that way I could put sticky notes on here if I need to and if I don't um, I really like the way this looks this black black paper and then I did the same on this side this is the back with another sticker from a happy planner book I just threw threw this on here because I thought it looked cute and then this dashboard I think is from I know I bought it at Hobby Lobby, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the pack. I want to say it's a Car Carpe Diem. I think. I can't remember. But again, I really like It's clear, and I like the black, the way the black looks behind it. So I put a piece of black cardstock behind it because I just like the way that looks. Now, this is where we get into the actual inserts that came with this planner. Now, you do get some instructions here. I haven't read through all of them, and I don't know if I'm going to keep it in here or keep them in here. But the Pro Lux uh, Planner Company gives you instructions on how to use this and how to use the inserts. So, it talks about goal setting. It talks about... Um, you know, how to use the daily planner pages, how to prioritize, how to fill out the reflections, uh, the month at a glance, finance and savings tracker, you have project planner sheets, uh, long-term goals, which like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use all of these or even keep this in here, but because uh, the, pl the planner is new to me. I just wanted to keep it in there in case I do feel like going back and reading it one day. I may not. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, then you get the year at a glance calendars. Now you get uh, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Then we go into my first section. Now I have these uh, dividers here that I made. I basically just cut down um, some clear file folders and I kept the tab part so I can use it because I wanted clear dividers in here. If I can find some black um, dividers, I would love to put those in here. I just haven't found any yet and I don't feel like making my own. So um, I'm just kind of using what I have and I don't really, I don't really want to spend the money. So my first section is my monthly pages. Now these are the monthly pages that came with the planner. You can see I did October and November. And then I'm using the Kiki K monthly pages that start uh, December 2019 and go all the way to December 2020. Now I don't plan on planning on these monthly pages. It's basically just for reference for me to look at because I had to date them myself. I used some stickers as you can see, but obviously these boxes are way too small for me to do anything. So uh, these are the Kiki K month on two page inserts and I decorated December 2019 already and January and I will show you what they look like. Um, this is what they look like here. So I may keep these in here. These came from a different uh, a different planner but I may keep them in here unless I find something I like better but if I don't at least I know I already have 2020 month on two pages I already have it and so I'm good and that goes to like I said December 2020 and then these are the blank uh, month at a glance inserts that came with this planner and I just have some empty ones in the back in case I want to use them for, um, in case I want to use them <laughs> for the following year. Now here are the daily pages and I hope I don't, I don't think I have anything too personal on here, but let me show you what a blank one looks like. Okay, so the next section, as you can see, here's the divider. Um, this goes into the daily planner pages and the way it's laid out is they're undated so you have the date, you circle the day of the week, schedule, 
critical tasks, other tasks, today's wins, progress goals, exercise. Now, I do like the layout of this. However, my day is not so full that I actually use all of this space. So I'm looking for a week on two page layout instead of having a page per day. I'm using these because they came with the planner. However, it's not exactly functional for me because I don't need this much space. However, I have been using it you know, for decorating and stuff like that. But um, I'm just finding that because I don't need this space, I'm feeling almost kind of, kind of overwhelmed by it because I'm feeling like I should be putting something on here or I should be writing in this space. And so I know it sounds crazy, but it makes me feel unproductive <laughs> when the page is not full. And I prefer to see my whole week at a glance. And with these daily pages, I have to kind of flip back and forth to see my whole week. And I don't like that. But like I said, I'm using what came with the planner. Uh, and then you have at the end of the week, the reflection page. I haven't really used this yet. I may, I may not. So that's this whole next section, just daily pages. And like I said, I am going to be looking for a week on two page inserts, probably for January, but until then, I'll just use these because they're here. Then we go to my next section, which is basically just a notes section. Again, I have another one of these dividers that I made. Then I have a star, confetti, and heart dashboard that I made. I just sprinkled it in between laminating pages and then laminated I laminated it I really liked the way it looks and I thought it matched really well with this planner and then I have a glitter page behind it because I thought that looked really pretty together then I have some more uh, black paper because you know I'm into that so um, like I said if I could find black inserts I'll buy them uh, then we have, this was a sampler pack of the inserts that came with this planner. So I'm kind of confused because it gives you all these samples of different inserts you can buy. Yet when I went on the website, I didn't see these anywhere listed on the Lux Productivity website. So I don't know if it's discontinued or if it's just in, because I think the company is based in Australia. So I don't know if it's just available per, for purchase there. But this was a sampler pack that came with the, the planner. So um, I do like this spread. This is their week on two pages, Monday through Sunday. And I would like to buy these if I could find them, but I didn't. they didn't have them listed on the website. So um, I'm probably going to look for another... Um, another you know insert shop <laughs> where I can buy uh, a week on two pages layout because I I really prefer that so these were more of the sample pages finance trackers um, project planner and that's it then we get to the notes pages now I was just playing with some stickers here just to see uh, how I like this paper so this is the dot grid paper that came with the planner. And it is kind of thin, but it's not horribly thin. Um, it, it feels just like regular, you know, copy, copy paper or printer paper. So you have the dot grid and you do get quite a few of those. Again, like I said, this came with the planner. And then I threw in some Filofax lined paper that I just had laying around and that I wanted to use up. I have it in a few colors here, um, and I haven't quite decided what I'm going to use it for, but it's there. So basically, this third, third section is just notes, notes, pa notes pages. Then when we get to the back, I have this zip pouch, this iridescent zip pouch from Kiki K, and I also have uh, more stickers in here that I want to use up for the month of October little icon stickers and stuff like that things that um, a lot of times if I don't see it I forget to use it so that's what I have in there 
Then I have another Foxy Fix dashboard. I, I don't have anything in this one yet. I'm thinking I'm going to make a little uh, picture board of some photos of, um, you know, maybe family or photos of my son. Um, I haven't decided yet, but um, I, I, I am going to throw something in there. And then I have this zip sleeve from Filofax, and I just love this moon paper. So I threw it in there just because I think it's really pretty. But uh, this is a Filofax, what is it called, sheet protector or whatever. So I kind of piecemealed. You can see I've got Foxy Fix, Kiki K, Filofax stuff in here, and it's all working, you know, because it, it matches the rings. Then I have a Foxy Fix page lifter to protect my pages in the back. And then, oh, these are the inserts I've been hearing. Like two people told me about um, Chasing Planner Peace, that they have some really good inserts for ringed planners, so I want to check them out. But this back pocket here, I just have a little notepad. And this notepad is from uh, Kiki K. And I just threw a sticker on here, and then I wrote the... Uh, shop that some a couple people told me they have really good inserts here So I'm gonna go check them out and then you have a back pocket here, and I don't have anything in this back pocket You also have the pen loop. I don't keep a pen in there, and that is it So uh, Like I said, this is working out really well for me. I'm really enjoying it. It's very simple. It's very organized and it's not too overwhelming and too, um, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. So I don't get distracted when I, when I open it or when I look at it. So that is my setup of my A5 Lux Pro Planner. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Just toss them down in the description below or in the comments below. And I will link this planner in the description in case you are interested in checking it out. They had other colors too, but I really like this. I think it's teal or turquoise is the one I got. And I'm really, really loving it. I have, like I said, it just kind of exceeded my expectations and I'm very, very pleased with this purchase. All right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos to come. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.